Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining AC motors and how they work. Now if you haven't already you should check out my videos on motors, on uh, electromagnets, and also on AC generators or AC power uh, alternating current generation. Once you check those out uh, that should give you the fundamentals which will allow me to explain how AC motors work. So just like all motors we've got a stator and a rotor and the rotor is inside of the stator and the stator creates magnetic field which forces the rotor to rotate, the basics of a motor. So how does this work? Well, basically, let me give you a simple explanation first and then we'll get into how it actually happens. So here we've got a separated magnets and so this is a uh, permanent magnet which is on a pin and can rotate. And this here is also a set of permanent magnets and they're on a ring around this permanent magnet so you can rotate it. So when you rotate this ring, this permanent magnet in the center will try to align itself with that rotating ring. So as it's rotating, the north is attracted to the south, the south is attracted to the north, and then the south repel, repels the south, north repels the north, and so it tries to align itself. And as long as you never let it align, it's going to keep rotating to try and catch up and align itself with that rotation. So this is the basics of how an AC motor works. The only difference is you're going to use a, you're going to generate a, kind of a, a rotating magnetic field without actually rotating any components. And you do that with an alternating current. So let's explain it in a little bit more detail. So what we've got going on here is we've got these electromagnets, as you can see, um, and we've got an alternating current that wraps around one of these and then goes up to the other electromagnet. So they're in the same direction. Then we've got another alternating current which comes to another set of coils uh, creating another set of electromagnets. So in step one, we're going to say that we've got a positive current coming in through this wire. And so what that does is, that means this is north, this is south of this electromagnet, this is north, this is south of this electromagnet. So the magnet in the center that's on a pin, the permanent magnet, is going to align itself with those two electromagnets. Now, as you know, AC currents operate on a sinusoidal uh, kind of loop here, so what happens at step two is you start to drop the current to this set of electromagnets and you start increasing the current to, this, to these coils. So that means you're going to be creating a north pole here and here and a south here and here, and so this is going to want to move over to this direction. So that's our step two, as you can see there. Step three, we're going to further decrease the current to this one because it's an alternating current. So the current is going to drop down to zero in these coils, meaning this will have no magnetic field, and then the current will be at its peak for this set of electromagnets. So the highest current going through these coils, and thus you're going to have north and south here, north and south here, and this rotor in the center is going to turn and face toward that direction. So you just keep repeating this process. Um, for example, the next one, and that's been drawn incorrectly, that should be facing in this direction, but the next one is going to be facing north and north, which are going to be here and here, and so then it's just going to keep changing that alternating current, that phase is going to be changing so that the constantly there's north, 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 and it's going to just constantly follow that change in magnetic field and rotate around. And as long as you keep the magnetic field changing quicker than this can, can rotate, it's never going to catch up with the magnetic field and it'll keep rotating around. 